hey there guess what today is today is the day we start on our wine nook so we're gonna start with some brick paneling we're gonna do a cool wine holder system a shelf all the good stuff but today we start with the brick paneling i'll show you all the tips i have done it before in our mudroom and so i know the tricks to make it look perfect so let's get started don't forget to like and subscribe good job don't forget to like and subscribe okay so i've seen a ton of people use this brick paneling sheet I got mine from Home Depot. I think it was about $23, something like that. So it's a very inexpensive alternative to actually installing brick. But the mistake I've seen in almost everyone who's used this is what makes or breaks this project. So with the sheet, most of these are full bricks, but on the edge, they're half bricks. If you just put this panel up side by side, there's a seam and people cover it up with spackling and different things, but you still see it. It drives me nuts. It would drive me nuts if it was on my wall. So we're not going to do that. I'm gonna show you this hack of how to make them fit seamlessly together so no one would be able to tell that this is a faux brick wall. It is so simple. All you have to do is cut out these half bricks. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's a little tedious. It's a little bit more work than just slapping up this board, but it is worth it, trust me. So let's cut out some half bricks. We have all of our lines cut and this back part is still attached. So there are two ways you can do it. You can use a multi-tool and just do a plunge cut straight through or you can do a use a jigsaw and cut this brick that way and then cut it across this way. Let me show you how to do both. I really thought the multi-tool would be quicker and easier to use, but I ended up using the jigsaw because it just seemed simpler. So the important thing is that you will want to cut out any half bricks that are going to go against another panel. So they'll fit together like a puzzle. The only time you won't cut the half brick is when it's running into the wall, like at the end of the panel. Before fitting these two together, I'm just gonna take a sanding block and gently sand off any of the fuzzies on the edges. It doesn't need to be perfect. We just don't want this stuff hanging out um, when we cover the brick because then it won't look like real brick. I am not worrying about attaching these brick panels to studs, but I am finding the studs before putting anything up because I will be building a shelf in here and I have a wine system to go in here as well. So I wanna know where the studs are before we get the brick paneling up. So I just found those and then put the tape on the floor so I could see it after the brick panels were up. I just attached these panels with some construction adhesive and brad nails to hold it in place while it dries. When cutting out the half bricks, I tried to cut the half brick and then the grout around it out so that when you fit the panels together, there's a little extra space. If you do it really exact, it's really hard to fit it together and you might need to do some trimming, which is fine. You can totally do that, but it's just easier if you give it some extra space the first time. When I did this brick paneling technique in my mudroom, I tested out several products 
to see what I liked for the German schmear and I landed on the thin set mortar because it has really nice texture it's gritty and it looks the most like brick now we still got to get rid of that seam so I took a healthy scoop of the thin set mortar on my putty knife and shoved it into the seam the most important thing is for the bricks to be lined up once the bricks are lined up you can easily cover this seam with all of the thin set that you're putting over the bricks so i did a heavy layer and just went back and forth and created dimension and texture with the putty knife i've seen brick panels be used a ton of times and in a ton of different ways and i've never seen anyone be able to get rid of the seam like this process does you can see I'm using about a three or four inch putty knife. I did try applying the thin set with a larger trowel just to make it go by quicker, but I had a lot less control over the consistency, the application. There was a lot more stuff falling on the ground. So using this smaller tool was a lot better for me. You might be able to find a putty knife just a little bit bigger and have it go a little quicker, but it really didn't take that much time. Like I mentioned, I'm using Thin Set Mortar Mix. It is pre-mixed in a bucket and I got it from the Home Depot. Like always, everything I use will be linked below in the description. Now that we finished the wall, it's time to install some wine storage. Here's a sneak peek of the video next week. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell so you can see when it drops. See you next time.